So we're getting some breaking news at a Baltimore Orioles camp. I just talked about them signing Craig Kimbrell yesterday, but it's not about a free agent signing. It's about something that Orioles fans are actually probably hoping happens at this point. As um, I can't remember the guy's name. It was something Rubenstein. Uh, he owns Carlisle or something like that. He is looking into buying the Baltimore Orioles from owner John Angelos. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean it's going to happen? I don't know, but apparently this is like a real possibility from people working around the building. And I don't know if this is just John Angelos is doing or someone's like forcing him to sell the team. I truly don't know, but... I really just hope that we can get John Angelos out of here. It's not necessarily like the Dan Snyder situation in Washington with, with, you know, the commanders. That was a whole different situation. But we have an owner that's cheap who won't sign the stadium lease for some petty reasons and just won't, you know, spend money even after the team won 101 games and won the division this past year. Still cheaping out on a lot of things. And with the Orioles fans, I think we're just hoping to get an owner that is, one, willing to spend money when needed to because there's other MLB teams out there that can consistently do it because, well, their owner's like, here, take this and spend it. I don't want to see any bad seasons. I don't want to see any mediocrity. Take this money and get it done. I mean, under John Angelos, we had that, like, four- or five-year span where we were good, we were one of the most winningest teams in the American League, and then we went back to being a poverty franchise because he just refused to sign certain players, and the one guy he probably shouldn't have signed, he signed and we're still paying until, like, what, 2036 at this point in time? I mean, again, I don't necessarily know what to say or much about it. I just know that this is starting to heat up, and I wouldn't be surprised with the Orioles' deadline to sign the lease for Camden Yards being December 31st, if they got this done to where they make the sale and then this new guy comes and signs the lease himself. Because, I mean, it's a beautiful ballpark. I know there's certain things John Angelos wants, like little things that they won't approve of. But being petty and not signing the lease for that reason, it just, like, I don't know. It's it's those types of things that make us hate John Angelos. It's not just him, too. His dad was not much better, but, you know... I grew up my generation with John Angelos for the most part, and we've seen him cheap out on a lot of occasions. We've seen him be petty in certain situations. And even though it may seem like, you know, hey, players and coaches, you know, get along with him, I don't know. And I think there's some sort of rift between him and Mike Elias that, you know, we don't necessarily see because they're just trying to keep it behind closed doors, keep it professional, which, you know, I can respect that. Because I said it when we when I made the video about Craig Kimbrell and even last year, Mike Elias seems like he wants to, you know, be able to spend. He wants to take this team to the next level. But John Angelos is like, yeah, but here's what you get. It's not much, but, you know, someone like you who's an analytics expert, you can make it work. And it's just like that's not going to be the case all the time. And as much as I like Mike Elias, you, you have to give him something to work with when it, you know, money wise, when it comes to being able to spend on free agency. Cause I can bet you with the way the Orioles are now, especially the past couple of years they've been playing, they seem like they can be a pretty hot, you know, um, area for MLB free agents to come. Because once you start winning like they are and all the young talent that we have, more players are going to want to come here because that's another thing I would hope this guy would do if he does buy the team. Extend Gunner, extend Adley, and maybe extend Jackson Holiday, and, you know, at least have those core three there for a while. And if you don't extend Adley, we still have Samuel Basalo, who's working his way up through the minor leagues too to where in five or six years, if Adley is, you know, starting to show any, you know, decline, sort of similar to what Matt Weeders was, then at least you got that plan there. I think Gunnar Henderson and Jackson Holiday are like the two main ones I would want to see locked up for the future. Like, do what the Atlanta Braves did. They locked up their stars in their prime. They're still good, and they're going to be good for a while, and they still have room to make signings and make trades when they have to, and they're not cheaping out because they want results. They want another World Series that, you know, I mean, they're just two years apart from winning their, you know, last World Series. 
they want to keep it going. And I know the way their season has ended the past couple of years, they're like, this is not acceptable. We need to continue getting better, and we need to continue adding around our talent, which is something that John Angelos just fails to do for the most part. So in the end, this is Tonks right now. I don't really know what's going to happen with this, but usually when something like this happens, it's like it always ends up happening, but we'll see. Maybe this is all just BS and John Angelos will come out with some sort of statement tomorrow being like, I don't know who said, you know, this guy's going to be buying the team potentially, but it's not going to happen. Or maybe this is John Angelos is doing because at this point with him not getting what he wants with the stadium lease and all this kind of stuff, maybe he just doesn't care anymore. Maybe he's like, fuck it, I'll sell to somebody who cares and they can handle it and make the business decisions themselves, which if that's the case, please, John, I will help you pack your bags and I will help you get out. That's all I'm saying about that. And I'm sure many Orioles fans will agree in that sense, but um, hey, at least one of the organizations of the team I like is is run well. You don't hear this stuff with the Ravens, but you know that's that's a whole different thing um, in itself. But yeah, that's basically my thoughts on this. We'd really like to hear what you have to say in the comments below. But until then, stay safe out there, and I will catch you all Sunday after the conclusion of the Ravens Rams game.